welcome to Fact or Freestyle. People love Dave Dory, and they always answer the phone when he calls. When we get him on Zoom, we ask him to confirm rumors. Let's see how far down the rabbit hole we go. If you want to hear the short version, I can. I just don't, don't know how much time you have or if you want to talk about other stuff. No, that's but. okay. We got we got it. We, we actually have a, another one. We I, I know the people love to make you tell that story. So we're not going to. All right. Yeah, okay. We're not going to put you through that again, especially with that. if you weren't the first even. OK, fact of freestyle. Dave Norrie's comeback debut was in X Games as Chad DeGroote. All right. Oh, so, I, I could. Good. <laughs> All right, so we have another one. Um, so Dave has also been obsessed about this one, and, and he was, he's was he been searching through his VHS tapes for weeks, but he's coming up uh, uh, empty-handed. So Factor Freestyle, Ray rode Gravity yeah. Games in 2003 as Alan Cook, four years after Dave rode X Games 1999 San Francisco as Chad DeGroote. But since Dave didn't have footage, and since Mark Eaton created a short film about it, Ray got the credit for doing it first. Wow. wow. Ray? What was the, um, yeah, mine, the thing I did was in 2003. When was the other one? 99. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I would, I didn't even, I wasn't trying to one up anybody. We just thought it was funny where Alan had a torn ACL and couldn't go. So I walked in and said, hi, I'm Alan Cook. I'm Large Ray. This year at the Gravity Games, I want to try and get in. I just want to try and hang with some of the riders. What's that? I don't have it. Um, I'm going to go get them. If I can't get in by land, I can get in by water. Try and go right in here between these rocks. Right where I'm in between the rocks and the people, I need to jump out. I'll just jump off, I don't care if I get wet. This is where you register? Yeah, Alan Cook. Alan's legs jacked, ACL's busted, so he's not gonna be here. How tall's Alan? Or wait, no, I gotta be Alan. <laughs> wow, this is the first 340 pound dirt jump they've ever had. I don't know if this is gonna work. This, yes. Sorry, we're all we're all signed up. I'm ready. I'm totally ready to go. Never been this excited. I'm on. Let me get the feel. What do you do? You just kind of roll up like this. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. You go one pedal forward, then a back pedal. Then butt up as high as you can. Then land right before it. Then roll in. Tap the brakes for two seconds. Then pedal Hold the brakes. I really can't. I really can't. Come on, you got it. I can't go down. You can do it, Ray. Come on. I can't go down. Just don't tell me can't. There's no can't in our dictionary. I've always wanted to have a team manager. This is awesome. That's enough for today. What should I do? I'm having problems. Riding the bike is like 15 calories a minute. And that's not even doing All right, this sounds like I'm talking to Richard Simmons here. He's telling me to lose weight. Let's go. Something in my gut tells me that you would have some momentum coming down that road. I'm going to get my stuff. If the rest of the day can go as good as this, I seriously may just enter. And then uh, they, um, NBC said, hey, let's do a little, let's, let's film it and to see if it'll really work. And it did. And nope. there's, a, um, there's a little uh, video of it. If you ever saw it, it's pretty funny. Where I just like roll in there. I'm like, hi, I'm Alan. And I'm a dirt jumper. And I went out on the course and I couldn't even go down the roll. And it was like, it was really scary. But um, it was good. But I definitely broke in. I did get the bag, the bag of swag that had like, nice. you know, hair gel and some dice, you know, and a, a Snickers bar and some toilet paper or something. <laughs> it was awesome. good. You know, it's so funny. If I could walk, I would go get the credentials. You're not walking yet? 
so the, the funny the- thing, Ray, I, I don't know if you know the story, but I went to the X Games in 99 after moving to Southern Oregon. And I was kind of kind of disconnected from the scene, obviously down in Southern California. Joe's already laughing because he just thinks it's hilarious. I show up and I couldn't even get in. I couldn't even get in the X Games because I didn't know anyone. I didn't have any passes. So I waited in line. It's this huge line, literally like it's in San Francisco on the pier. And it's like this massive line. You have to wait in for like over an hour. Um, And I took this uh, kid that was about 13 who was taking some of my classes. His name was Connor. And um, as the days went on, because it's a three-day event, by the third day, I had friends and family passes. I snuck my bike in. And I saw Chad DeGroote, and he had just uh, finished his run, but didn't qualify, and he was really bummed out. So I'm like, Joe, I mean, um, Chad, you should just go and, and just goof off and just make up some fun fun tricks and do old school. And he's like, yeah, yeah. The bummer is that all the people that lost have to go out and ride again. There's no cameras or anything. They're not televising it, but it's for the points. And so I'm like, yeah, just go, go play around. So then I, I see him a few minutes later and he's just really looking bummed. He's not so, so excited about it. And I'm like, Hey, Chad, why don't you let me ride for you? And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'll ride for you. I'll just go That's out there awesome. and I'll just do all my old school stuff. And he's That's- like, well, you'll ride my bike. I go, no, I got my bike. Once I told him that I had my bike, he just it took his on. jersey off and his hat and I put <laughs> it on and I rode out there and practice and I just, it was so hilarious. I just did my That's whole awesome. old school routine. And uh, turns out we had Chad on the show. He got a lot of flack from horror for that because he basically, <laughs> oh. his manager at the time, Tony D said, you're lucky that that was really funny because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think That's I didn't even awesome. make that connection. I'd seen that clip from years ago that you, uh, that you did with Alan, but I forgot all about um, yeah, just, I have, the, I have a today. clip on my phone somewhere. I can send it to you guys. I just got his credentials and just walked in, and then that was it. I didn't, I didn't like do dirt jumps or anything, you know. That's awesome. You got the interview though. So there's another part to the Chad story that I don't know that Chad has. Chad didn't tell it. The reason he didn't qualify was because just before his run, the guy next to him looked looked him right in the eye. And poured soda on his rims. No way. Way. Is this a famous rider? Yes. I'd be curious to know who that is. Dino DeLuca. <laughs> Dino DeLuca. <laughs> did Chad say that? Did you hear that from Chad or did you hear yes. that from? Yes. Really? Yes. I heard stuff that that kind of stuff was going on. I don't ever remember. The, the worst I remember is someone was locking some riders in their hotel room for a contest you remember hearing that kevin at all no but i but i i can tell you from my personal experience there was a a famous rider that that i used to compete against in flatland who used to pull some psych shit right before my run like constantly yeah like like hey give me a hit and i'll tell you who it was no no no, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna 19 over expert oh shut up and just tell us no who could it have no so but they used to it was little shit too and i noticed it over a while but it was like i know who it is like you'd Scott be about three and they'd be like, Hey man, is your chain loose? And then they call your name and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a little shit like that. But I noticed it kept happening. So I finally, <laughs> out. but man, that's dirty. Soda yeah. on rims? Yes. Yes. Why didn't you just punch the guy in the face? Huh? Why didn't you just punch the guy in the face when he did it? Like if well, someone's going to pour soda on your rims and sabotage your run, can't you just oh, punch no, the guy? I would have got some retribution for that. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Wow. I mean, I'm sure Chad did in some ways. I can't imagine he let that one go. I uh, Yeah, I, that's bad. That's dirty. I know that Mickey Conti ruined Dennis and Joe's careers with, with Haro and whoever else they would have rode for. You know, that lady, that lady, Um, I don't think anyone's ever seen her for, you know, since, but she was trying, she was going to ruin the sport, that lady, man. Oh, Somebody just talked to her recently. I forgot who told me that, but it was really? either Dennis. It was either no. Dennis. Yeah, somebody. No. You think she's still alive? I think so, yeah. Man. Well, Mickey actually gave me one of the great, because of Mickey, I have one of the greatest stories ever that you guys, if you're into Flatland, would want to hear, but we could do it another time if you want. 
I, I'm all ears, man. This is, you I want to hear it now? I can give you the, the in the oh, okay. I can give you the short version. I didn't know if you guys had like a limit or anything. Yeah, I got nothing but time. Okay. So Mickey was, was picking the best riders out of the sport to try and start up a thing called Dan up. Um, the Dan up say no to drugs tour. Long story short, she, um, she's going to have all these shows. And one of the shows is going to be in Philadelphia. And it was going to be at the King of Prussia Mall. So um, it was towards the end of the year um, in 1987. And I had a class in high school. I wasn't the most studious uh, student. And I took a class called Gym Major, where if you wanted to be a gym teacher, you take this class to then go on to college and be a gym teacher. I took it because you had gym every day last period. And it was an easy way to just you know go home. You're done from there. So the final grade was going to be everyone had to teach a class. So like the football, like quarterback showed how to throw a pass. A kid that was in track and field showed everybody how to do the pole vault. I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to do freestyle. That's what we called it back then. We just called it freestyle. I'm going to teach freestyle. So I'm going to bring my bike in. I'm going to bring all the, all the magazines. And the ace up my sleeve is Gary Pollock. Gary Pollock's the top little kid. Yes. He's going to come out here and he's going to ride for 20 minutes and I'm going to, I'm going to kick ass and I'm going to be like the stud and like, and like rad, I think just came out on DVD. So everyone's going to like, I'm going to, I'm going to kill it. So, um, so I'm at, I'm in the class and I'm like, all right, I got to go get Gary. I'll be right back. He's not here. I run down to Gary's class and he's like feverishly writing some shit down. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, dude, I got a test. I can't, I can't do it. Oh, I run, no. I run, I run back to the class. And, and this is in the gymnasium, okay? The big gymnasium, there's 35 kids and a teacher. And they're like, all right, start teaching a class. And I got nothing. I'm like, well, here's, um, here's some magazines. I got on my bike. And at that point, I probably couldn't do a trick. Um, did like one or two tricks, failed miserably. And I was just like, this is the worst day of my life. Now, this is the part where Hollywood, Hollywood can't write this one, okay? So, I love this story. So this dude, I still remember his name, Daryl McIntosh. He opens up the, the doors of the gym, and he goes, Yo, Ray, there's a couple of your boys out here doing some, doing some tricks. I'm like, what? I go outside. Dennis and Rick. Dennis McCoy and Rick Malaterno. What? went to Gary's house because they're doing a show. They're going to be doing this Dan up show. They went to Gary's house because they got, they got bumped from some um, radio thing they were going to do. They go to Gary's house. They say, Hey, where's Gary? Oh, Gary's at school. And the school's just right down that road. So at the same moment where I'm going to get an F and be embarrassed for, you know, the guy that rides his bike to school, I go to Dennis and Rick and I go, Hey, can you guys come in here and do a quick show? And they, they had no shirts on because it was like a million degrees out. They came in. A dude got a, got a uh, boom box. They put the Beastie Boys license to ill. And Dennis McCoy and Rick Malaterno, the number one pro and the number one amateur, <laughs> did a 20-minute flatland routine for 35 people in my PE major class. And they killed it. They, they killed it. And they were just like riding, going nuts. And everyone's like cheering and by like, by the end, there's like there's probably like like a hundred people in the gym. Like people were running the classes, going, "Yo, there's these guys from Rad doing the show," nice. and the that's rest was awesome. history. So it was, uh, it, and that's the short version of that story, by the yeah. way. But um, but like, when is a kid like? Because I was, you know, I'm still a fan, but I was just like a little a little fan dude that grew up with Gary Pollock, and here Dennis and Rick are at the school at the exact moment that I'm failing at showing the class how to do something. They do a fucking show. And then got done and we went back to Gary's, rode the quarter pipe, ate some cheeseburgers, and went to the King of Prussia Mall and destroyed some shit. So it was pretty awesome. I got stories like that, you know? I've had, yeah, I've, awesome. I've had a good life and it's only getting better. That is awesome. Hey, how did you guys convince Mickey to put, to ride that quarter? Oh, that point? was all her. That's like a... Because of the YouTube 15 minute limit, we had to break this into multiple parts. So click the link above to go to the next one. And I'll, I'll, I'll wait.
It's all right. Probably reaching for your phone because you're uh, you're driving. All right, time's up.